Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about porosity permeability relationship. And we will use a picture, a very interesting picture, which is drawn by this brother here, Mr. Esrafili Dizachi, right? A brilliant guy who draws it, right? And then post it in LinkedIn. If you're interested, you can see his profile in LinkedIn. And we will use this picture to talk a little bit about the permeability and porosity relationship. And from the picture, you can see it quite clearly, right? We have permeability in the y-axis, in the horizontal axis. All right. Let me use the pointer or the pen. And in the horizontal axis, we have porosity. And we will discuss the parameters here one by one. We start with visible porosity. Okay, so at constant porosity here, if we have higher visible porosity, we will have higher permeability. That's the first thing, right? Visible porosity or maybe effective porosity, right? You can have the same, the constant total porosity, but different visible porosity or effective porosity. And if you have higher effective porosity or in this case in this picture of visible porosity of course you will have higher permeability and vice versa right so that's the first point visible porosity or effective porosity if you increase it or if you have higher visible porosity you will get higher permeability or vice versa all right that's the first thing and then what about this grain size Let's talk about it based on the picture, which is correct. We can have the same porosity, but we have different grain size and we will have different permeability. Based on the picture, you can understand that if you have higher or bigger grain size, you will have higher permeability. All right, and that makes sense, actually, makes sense. So for example, this is our grain size, or this is our grain, which is quite big, All right? This is our grain with big grain size. If you have big grain size, it means although you have the same porosity, but you will have higher permeability, right? This is the pathway to describe or to picture the permeability, okay? But you can also have, for example, this is the body of the rock, the square. The same square, but with smaller grain size. You can have the same porosity, actually, the same porosity, but different permeability. In this case, of course, if you have bigger grain size, you will have, ultimately, later on, you will have higher permeability. All right, although the porosity is the same. Okay, so that's the second thing. Very, very important for us to understand it. And the third one, let's let's use this one. What about intragranular clay? Okay, based on the picture, we discuss about the picture first. If we have lower or fewer intragranular clay, we will have this one right we will have bigger porosity and higher permeability that makes sense right and vice versa if we have more intragranular clay you will have smaller porosity and also smaller permeability right because clay will be dispersed maybe it exists in the dispersed form in the rock matrix or in the rock and of course it will take some space and it can block some pathways so that you will have smaller porosity and smaller permeability okay for example if this is your rock the clay can exist as dispersed form like this one or it can also be pore lining so if you have, yeah, for example, pore here, pore, right? 
you will have four here. Click can also exist as lining, pore lining. Okay, and of course it will take up some space and later on it will reduce the porosity and decrease the permeability. Okay, so that's the third one. And the cementation, if we have lower or fewer cementation, of course we will have bigger porosity and bigger or higher permeability because cement itself will take up some space, right? Cement will take up some space. And of course, with more cement, the porosity will decrease, permeability also will decrease, and vice versa. All right. If you have more cement, more cement will be there in your pores, right? So that the porosity will decrease, permeability will also decrease, and you have fewer cement, right? If you have less cement, then the porosity and permeability will increase. And this is also important, the sorting. So usually you will have grain size issue and sorting issue at the same time. Of course, we want better sorting. In this case, better or good sorting means we have almost regular or uniform size. Okay, so if you have big size, we prefer having all the grains are at the same size, like this one, okay? You just want them to be there. You don't want any smaller grain filling this space there, right? Because it will reduce significantly the porosity and also the permeability, okay? So if we have the condition like this one, you have big size of grain and also small grain right it will it will take up the porosity it will decrease the permeability right so we call this bad sorting but if we have good sorting all big size uniformly that's better compared to having big and small at the same time okay so we prefer better sorting as the better sorting we let you have the good porosity and the permeability, good permeability. And lastly, the micro porosity, all right? And based on the picture, we can understand that at the same permeability, at the same level of permeability, we can have different micro porosity and we will have different porosity. Of course, from the name itself, we can understand. If we have less micro porosity, our porosity will be smaller. And if we have more micro porosity, the porosity will be higher, right? Although the permeability stay the same, okay? Yeah, that can happen, that can happen. So yeah, you can imagine we have the rock and we have the pathway that will be our permeability, right? And although we have micro porosity, but if the micro porosity itself is not connected, then there will be no change. There will be no impact to the permeability, right? So the key point is not the existence of micro porosity, but the interconnectedness of those either macro porosity or micro porosity, right? So you can have more micro porosity, but your permeability stays the same if the micro porosity is not connected one to the other. But of course, this arrow can turn to be that way if your micro porosity is connected and thereby increasing your permeability. All right, so this picture is very, very important. It describes the relationship between porosity and permeability. And thank you, brother Esrafili Dizachi, for this very, very important picture. And I hope you understand the point we study here. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Geoscience videos. Thank you.